Hey, it's your boy Picante Nino coming at you with another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Guild League, and I'm just going to give my honest review on it. See, I'm going to label the pros, the cons, and honestly, I'm not the kind of person to be labeling stuff and criticizing stuff without actually giving good solutions to it. Honestly, in my opinion, I think the Guild League is by far one of the best things that BDO slash PA have came out with in a while. So let's just jump into it and then let me explain to you why exactly I would give such a high rating to this. I rate it like about a 9.5. So let's just roll the intro. Mm. Okay, before we start this, let me address something. Hey Blue, if you're watching, hey dude, welcome back, dog. Here's your dad. Thank you for reacting again. All right, next to the video. Okay, let's kick this off. So I give Guild League about a 9.5 out of 10. It is almost there to becoming the perfect content for us PvPers that also enjoy group content. So let's get into the pros. I'm going to take out my little notebook. You know, obviously this is my teleprompter. And so the first pro is more group content, more bonding time with the guild. It gives people a purpose to gear now, finally, since it's not capped, even though that would have been the obvious solution to do it. It gives a decent silver reward. It could be debated, depending if you want to use elixirs or not. I remember Blue talking about that a little bit. Also, it gives more meaning to guilds. Um, it makes no sense that, you know, people want mercs to be allowed to fill up the slots in the guild 15v15. It just kind of takes away from your guild identity. So I kind of like it that now guilds are more of a thing that people want to join because it provides more content and more benefits. Maps on the guild 15v15 are amazing. They are very neutral, very flat. There's no obvious advantage depending on what side you spawn on, kind of similar to what AOS is. AOS has some maps that you just have an advantage over the other team and so on and so forth. These maps feel very fair. The one map that I'm kind of concerned about that they did hint at at the Global Labs is Elder Bridge. And Elder Bridge is by far one of the most frustrating fights I ever had in uh, Node Wars. I don't know if you guys ever went to Elder's Bridge, but right now I'm auto-pathing my character right now <laughs> so we could go see Elder's Bridge so we can see what I'm talking about. So this is Elder's Bridge. Go over here, it's by Florin. And then this is Elder's Bridge right here. I don't know if you guys are very familiar with this area, but this area kind of sucks to fight on. I'm going to explain to you why. There's most likely going to be a team that spawns on this side of the bridge. And then there's going to be another team that's going to spawn on the other side of the bridge. If you guys notice that uh, there's not much to work with on the bridge. So I'm guessing that they're going <laughs> to... And this is pretty funny, not going to lie. I kind of like laughing at it. But there's not really much of a reason for you to do a whole 15v15 on this bridge. This seems pretty chaotic, and especially since my little Zerker brain wants to throw a person off the side of the bridge and just make them deal with it. You know, it just doesn't seem fun. Like imagine getting yeeted off this bridge or you cast a skill that flings you off the bridge and you're over here wasting all of your time to get back up here so you get back into the fight. Hopefully whenever you fall off this bridge, it's an insta kill and you end up just, you know, getting memed on by your guildies by getting yeeted off the bridge like some kind of like movie scene from Michael Bay. But I really hope that this map does not come to Guild League. To Guild League. It would be a pretty funny map, but since this has to do with rank, and every single fight is ranked, I can see a couple of guilds that are really strong, that know what they're doing, just simply do not know how to play around this bridge. Because there's really no other way to like fight this map unless you go around. Unless you go around, there's like a little part where it does connect, but it just goes, it, it's too far. And if it says Elder's Bridge, you gotta believe that there is gonna be a bridge on the map. So, this is a part where you have to go around the bridge to fight. If they include both of these sides in Elder's Bridge, maybe. So it's like, hey, you guys could fight on this side of the map, or you guys could fight on the obviously non-desired you know bridge sites so you could get your good you know clips in or your twitch clips but other than that i feel like this map is a complete l just do not put it into guild league for the love of pa do not do that there might have been a lot more pros than that because i really enjoy this content but those are the few that came to mind almost immediately so now let's go into cons and there's a good amount of cons and they are working on a good amount of them 
upcoming this patch that they know is a problem. So let's get into the cons. We can have my notebook again. So let's talk about the cons that they are fixing this patch really soon. That we're going to expect within the month because sometimes PA doesn't release things immediately. So the queue times. They're trying to fix the queue times. The queue times are kind of bad. It makes me feel like I'm just waiting around for a whole hour just to do about 10 minutes of whatever the hell of the guild league is trying to do and then i wait for an additional 50 minutes so i'm not gonna really like try to grind or do anything during that time it's just a long time of just downtime of nothing because you're already buffed up you have all your elixirs running and you only fight for like i don't know 10 minutes is like the average 15 is like mm, that's like a good fight but other than that you just have a lot of downtime between the queuing the queuing is horrible it just, honestly, if I was a person doing Guild League, I would just be like, yeah, I'm just going to go grind for an hour. And then once I'm done grinding, everyone's already going to be going to bed or the Guild League, uh, you know, queue timers are down. The servers are down. So you really can't do it no more. So I really wish that the queue times were actually better to fit inside people's schedules. So there isn't a lot of downtime where I'm over here trying to go through Facebook or playing Nikkei Goddess of Victory on my phone. It, like, I, I really don't know. The queue times are bad and they're fixing them really soon. The second con is balancing. I've had a lot of games where number one, we just wreck the guild within five minutes, get our thousand points and we get out, we get the bag and then we repeat, right? That, that's how we've been doing it. But there's other games where you just honestly get, you know, soft served two ways to China and like you just cannot do anything about it. So you just get farmed like a bunch of ants and uh, it, it really doesn't feel good. So hopefully the balancing actually puts us against guilds that actually are similar strength. I know that PA is working on that, but right now they're just trying to get people to participate and we need people to participate. This is the most important time for people just to take the fat L and just show PA that we are interested. People are expecting a finished product out of this. This is not finished. This is like, I would consider before beta alpha, but not necessarily alpha because it's kind of polished already, right? The thing is, people need to participate. The numbers, 15v15, I've noticed that active guilds, you know, like Soaked and other guilds that I've been in, it's very hard for them to pull numbers just at, on a whim. 15 people in your specific guild that are wanting to do stuff at a specific time is kind of a lot. 90% of the matches, I would say 95% of the matches, none of the teams had the full 15. Either it's going to be my guild, someone else's guild, it didn't matter. The, the 15v15 stuff never actually was a solid 30 people. I think the number should be lowered to about 10. That's one con that needs to be adjusted because I've had some games where we did queue up and we couldn't find... The 10th person to meet the bare minimum requirement so it's a little bit yikes but the thing is is that the numbers are too high and i want more and more people to actually like do it preferably i would want it to be like around five members but we're, we will talk about that on the solutions part stage all right the next con black stones pure black stones these things that are the mythical beings of bdo that you just randomly get blessed with randomly i played the game for eight years i only received about three and these things are kind of... You, you just become Thanos. It, it Stuff that makes you Thanos shouldn't be a thing in ranked matches. That's all I gotta say. You it like Let's say that you're, you're facing the, the hardest guild in NA, right? The top guild. Let's say Chill Nation. And you get another guild that is about similar strength. But one side has pure black stones. Like two people. And they will just carry the match. It doesn't matter on their skill level. That, that, those stones are that potent. So you should just disable them. They shouldn't be used in uh, in Guild League at all. They, they should be outright just no. And another thing too that kind of concerns me about the, the Guild League is that there's not many people participating in the Guild League. Right now, I open it up. This is recorded on the 17th of February. There's only 76 guilds participating in this Guild League. I am a little bit floored at that. But that means if there's only 76 people that are in the current pool that are interested, you're going to be fighting the same three or four people. It, it, it's not going to be... It really doesn't come into rank. Like, rank doesn't really matter if there's only 100 people. Like, let's say 
all those hundred or the 76 yields are queuing at exactly the same time, that player pool is still very low. It is ridiculously low where you can start actually like manipulating, you know, results. Or it doesn't really matter because if your guild is weak and you're just going to be getting stomped over and over again by the people who generally love to do guild league. It, it, it just needs a lot more participation. A lot more participation. So we're going to talk about that in the next section where we come up with solutions to these problems. And yeah, let's just jump over to it. Okay, so solution number one. We're going to be talking about the numbers. Since 90% of my matches didn't cap on numbers of 15 players on both sides, like 95% of my matches, the solution number one would be obviously no mercs. People keep on... Their first intuition is just to be like, yeah, let's just fill those up with mercs. If you guys can't get the numbers, mercs. No, that's the wrong way about going about that. That defeats the whole purpose of Guild League. But we could lower down the maximum number of people from 15 to 10 and then lower the minimum amount of people for the queue from 10 to 7. So that is solution one. Me personally, that's my favorite one. Another one that also could work, but it's a little bit of a stretch, is keep the same ma ma maximum and minimum, but instead of it being a guild league, it should be an alliance league. And what I mean by that is your alliance could fill up those 15 slots, you know, between all three of your guilds or whatever you have a split as. And yeah, it just turns Guild League into Alliance League. The only thing that is a little bit of a downside is that it might be another barrier of entry for these little guilds that do not even know how to communicate with other guilds outside of their circle. Another thing too is that it might be a coding nightmare for the developers to make it a uh, Alliance League because alliances come and go super, super quickly in BDO. It's like, yeah, I really don't like that one person part of this alliance. Yeah, let's just end the alliance and just like get rid of that guild and then name another alliance. So it's really easy just to like kill alliance, name another thing, and change names of alliances. So I feel like if we do change it from guild league to alliance league, that would be the most healthy way about going about it. So we don't have to worry about mercs, people, or anything. So it has that cross pollination of all the guilds together. But the way how alliances are coded right now doesn't really support this system in terms of it being ranked but in general like casual matches i could see this working i honestly can see this working now let's talk about guild participation so there's not a lot of guilds participating in the guild league right now and we got to entice these guilds to want to sign up for the guild members to be asking the leadership of the guild to be like hey man let's get some guild league going on but the thing is, is that there's not a lot of guilds that have enough members. So let's see if we could come up with solutions to aid that. So number one, I would say better rewards all around. And another thing that I would like to say is that if the rewards are good enough, people are going to do it regardless. Guild bosses, no one did guild bosses until they were about 1.2 billion an hour. So better rewards... I think the rewards are decent now, but they could honestly be better for guilds to honestly want to run them all the time. Another thing too, there should be a trial variant. A trial variant will be very good for this, but it might also split the player base. And what I mean by a trial variant is to have another game mode that only uses trial characters for the guild league. So that would be really good for people who do not have the gear, who want to get into PvP and just have fun with their guild without actually putting in the work for their gear. Like, a good amount of people who are above 700 gear score queuing up for this guild league and not immediately just getting squashed like a grass beetle. Now, that is honestly going to turn a lot of people into the thing, but it also might be another negative because these people like me who have been playing forever, who have the gear, they have a reason to actually show off that gear. But you know what? I'd rather take the trial variant and just have a lot more people playing. The goal is to have a lot more people playing and to have good fights. People do not like fights that just instantly get ran through. And honestly, like, I, I'm going to hate myself for saying this, but I think they should go this route of just making it trial character based and that's it. You know, there isn't a lot of ways so you can show off your gear score other than going to a grind spot and uncap GB or uncap Node Wars or GBGs. But this game mode is actually that good where child characters could actually shine and actually prove an equal battleground and go from there. Another thing too, 
is that aside from the, the trial character variant, we should honestly have better matchmaking, which they are working on, so you can match up with guilds who are around your skill level. But the thing is, we need to get more people playing it, so it kind of feeds itself. This one is going to be the hardest one to solve, because you got to make it very enticing for guilds to want to participate in it. It's kind of hard if there isn't guilds participating in it, because there's people who are, you know, 730, 740 gear score like me, who have a bunch of people that are around the same gear score as me, just 100% curb stomping people to Uganda. It doesn't matter. So I think the trial character variant would be more healthier in the long run. It would suck for the people who are high geared to uh, basically just tell them, hey man, take a fat L and go enjoy your node wars, you know? But hey, that's it. And with that, honestly, let's go to the closing thoughts. I love this game mode, and I really want this to actually go through and actually flourish in the BDO community, kind of like how similar how AOS is going right now. There's a lot of people who love AOS and only do AOS, but this would be like the more community-based AOS. So not only do you got 3 versus 3, but you could also do 10 versus 10, or 15 versus 15. It would be really cool if we just have that, that PvP you know, game mode thing that we have going on, because we have RBF, we have BA, we have, you know, AOS, and then we're going to have Guild League. Like, that is a lot of PvP-centric game modes, and I feel like PA should just keep on adding them. Keep on adding them, because that will give us a lot more ways to express our skill, because this is an action-based combat MMO. This isn't tab targeting. No, we want to show our mastery of our class. We want to see how people get, you know, tilted whenever you do a decent grab across, you know, the ocean. It, it is... By far the funnest content that I ever played, regardless of me being, you know, highly geared or not highly geared, it is fun. It is genuinely fun. And with that PA, take this as a message, see what you can do with it, let you cook, and by far, the most fun I ever had. Thank you.